carry in here. I got really nervous and really scared for, for my son Dylan because he's 10 months old, so he's not able to get the vaccine yet. So I, I was really nervous about what that means for him and how to protect him. So it made me really concerned about other children who he might be around who don't have the vaccine um, or, or other adults as well that I just that I don't know, you know, whether they're vaccinated or not. So I've been doing um, doing what I can, which is to uh, make sure that the people around him, of course, all my family members, his 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 caregiver um, and, you know, the children that we have over to our home um, are vaccinated. So asking the question of, you know, I actually before this outbreak, I actually hadn't asked his his caregiver about her measles vaccine and whether she was up to date. Certainly had asked her about the flu vaccine and other things as they came up, but I hadn't honestly hadn't thought about it till the outbreak and so I did ask her about that and she is up to date um, so I feel safe with him you know being around her and the other people that are in our home so the measles is very scary and I think the risk of my little guy here getting that scares me more than you know than asking a, a friend or family member if they're vaccinated or a caregiver because ultimately you know I want to protect him that's my number one goal the other thing that I that I did um, yesterday was I made Dylan's uh, one-year preventative um, checkup appointment um, right on his birthday so that I can take him in that day and get him the vaccine um, as soon as he's eligible um, so I would encourage other other moms whose baby is under one as soon as uh, your child turns one to get them in and get that vaccine, get the appointment on the books so that you can take them in as soon as they're eligible. Measles is so contagious. If your child is not vaccinated and is exposed to measles, your child will get measles. It's, it's practically a guarantee, 90%. So if you don't want your kid to get measles, this is the time. And I've had a lot of families coming in throughout our community saying, sign me up right now. It's really important for families to know that measles vaccine is incredibly safe. It is incredibly effective. So why, for all, all of us caring people, this is what we should be doing to care for our children. And so if we all do this, it will help others, but it will help us and it will protect your child in your home. One out of every four people who get measles end up in the hospital. The kids who are most at risk are those kids under five who haven't had a shot. And in fact, adults who are over 20. Those are the highest risk groups. So those folks can get incredibly sick. And measles is an infection that when you get it, it actually also suppresses your immune system and it puts you at risk of other serious infections too. You could prevent this by getting your child vaccinated and talking to the people around you. This outbreak in Washington is very serious and people are going to be hospitalized, including children. So to protect the ones who can't get it, like, like Dylan here, um, and to protect all the rest of us, to protect your own child and your own family, please bring your child to be uh, vaccinated.